Hello everyone, the coach here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Sutakun again and we are building an exhibit for pygmy hippos because I was requested to make one which would look like a Toronto Zoo exhibit for these animals and I looked at some pictures of which I think are from the Toronto Zoo and I tried to kind of recreate it or at least very heavily be inspired by it. Starting off with uh, tank walls for walls, so we have the walls going into the water, which looks a bit nicer than if you have this rim of dirt around it. And um, making this wall, which is supposed to have a waterfall, but I couldn't find my waterfall mod. I thought I installed it, but apparently I didn't, and I was too lazy to actually restart my game. So um, what I saw in the real life pictures is that you have a chain link gate for the stuff and you also have this little normal gate thing for the hippos themselves to their backstage thing because they don't really need an indoor thing because it's in a hall this exhibit so all you have is a door which uh, leads them to this kind of tent-ish thing just a piece of cloth hanging on some hanging on some uh, logs to give them some shade and stuff which I think is cool so we try to recreate that with an elevated path and it kind of works if you know what it is supposed to be. And uh, talking about posts, we used logs sur uh, surrounding the entire exhibit, which actually gives a pretty cool effect, because they, the logs have various uh, variants of different heights and sizes, so that is cool. And I saw in the real life pictures these rims of pebbles surrounding the logs, just to keep the hippos at bay and to make it look nice, both at the same time. So I did that as well. And with these logs we uh, create these barriers between the hippos and the trees, which is also kind of cool and realistic. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. We uh, add vines again, because that is something I saw, because I re uh, the thing with hippo exhibits is you can't really make them too lush, because the hippos will eat everything and stuff, and yeah, plants won't really grow in there, so you have to do them outside of the exhibit or above the exhibit, like these vines which are on the fence, which still make the exhibit a little bit greener, while still keeping it realistic. We also have these big tree trunks which just look really cool. I'm not really a big fan of the leaves, they are too uh, desaturated, so they don't really fit with any of the other foliage, but on ground level they look great because the trunks are just amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We. Uh, tinker around with the surrounding foliage and with the roof because I wanted the glass roof but that wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. At first I wanted to just do the elevated path but that would have taken me years so I settled with these objects which I think are by Snow Leo but I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, we also detail, uh, detailed the rim of this elevated path with some posts. I wanted to add kind of a handrail kind of thing out of wood because I saw that in real life pictures and I thought oh that's a cool idea but I couldn't really find a way to do it so I settled on not doing it. If anyone does have an idea on how to do that please do tell me because I would love to know because I think that's a cool detail to have a hand railing kind of for supports to make sure people don't fall in but can still lean into the exhibit and also then people can lean on the handrail and not on the glass which is also a good idea I think. <laughs> Um, yeah, the exhibit isn't huge, but it's just for one pygmy hippo, so it isn't supposed to be huge. These animals don't move a lot, and they don't need a huge amount of space. So yeah, I, I skip over the building of the roof, so it is just suddenly there, because I didn't think the roof would be very interesting to look at. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.